What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we're in Chaska, Minnesota and we're getting ready to check out, wait for it, one of the coolest homes I've ever seen. So let me get you outside, I'll tell you all about it. All right, y'all talk about an ultra modern looking home. Whew, this one has it going on. Say hello to the Willow from McDonald Construction Partners. This home right here, I love the recessed gables with the accent lights, I think it looks fantastic. And then coupling that with the black siding, whew. I just can't get enough of the look of this home. Inside, you're gonna find five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, a three car garage, and all of that sits inside of 4,950 square feet. Now, this home is currently available for sale for $1,400,000. If you are interested in this home or another like it, you can click that link right there at the top of the description. With that though, let's get inside and see what all we can find. All right, here we go. Y'all, this is one of those homes that I was looking forward to touring the most on this trip just due to the exterior. I think it is awesome. But this is the view that you're greeted with when you do first walk in. Kind of a really open concept floor plan, but it has tons happening here in the foyer. You've got this massive window array, two-story open to above you got the staircase going up to the second floor and all of the bedrooms you've got this sleek looking modern door and then just to the right as you walk in you've got this office space so i like this you've got the glass pane french doors right here and then this super dark moody color love it of course you know let me know which what color would you do you like the dark colors uh in the office space we've been seeing it a lot you know what I mean? Uh, I'm a fan of it. It's got a fun little light fixture up here. But uh, I am curious. I know not everybody likes the darker colors. Maybe you like a lighter color, maybe like an off-white or maybe some pastel -y colors, something like that. But anyway, coming back out into the foyer, I did just want to kind of point this out. You've got a huge light fixture uh, and then a nice little catwalk. You've got access right here down into the basement. And then across from that, right real close to the front door, You've got a coat closet and a powder room. So that's nice. I definitely love when the powder room and coat closet are right next to each other and in close proximity to the front door. Not a lot of builders do that, at least what we've been seeing lately. But a fun light fixture in here as well. You've got the single vanity and the toilet. And then all the way at the end of the foyer, it opens up into all of the common spaces with the living room, dining room, and the kitchen. The living room, you've got this nice dark fireplace as the focal point going all the way up to the ceiling. It's actually kind of cool because it's got like these uh, batten strips on it. So it gives it a little extra texture. And then on either side of that, you've got these floating built-ins, which is pretty neat. No hearth. No mantle, just kind of flush and neat, which looks cool. And then tons of storage here in the built-ins. And then turning you back around, looking back into the dining room and kitchen. Y'all wait until you see this kitchen too. I've been saying that in a lot of the <laughs> a lot of these tours, but man, these kitchens, I've been liking them. Fun little light fixture here in the dining room which separates the living room from the kitchen and i know a lot of people are on the fence let me know if you're one of them where do you like your dining room here like in an open space or would you prefer a single room if that makes sense it's like a dedicated room for the dining room but then uh coming out onto the screened in back porch so this got the porch is separated a little bit which is neat uh, and then I also really love the ceilings right here. We've got this mono pitch with like the wood set slat ceiling, which looks neat. I think you could do tons of things out here. And then you've got those views into the pond. That'd be cool. And then you, like I said, you've got the open uh, porch area. We're not going to go out there. It's snowing a little bit, but uh, huge windows. And almost like a, I think it's like a hardy board lap siding back here. I just like the black color. I think that's neat. All right. Now getting into the kitchen. This thing kind of wraps around a little bit and it has tons happening. So um, let me know your thoughts as we're going through it. We're going to start over here along this wall. 
Of course, you've got the double ovens and this massive refrigerator. This thing is huge. I don't even know what that, it's like a little water machine or ice maker, but uh, tons of space. I like that. Just all the storage that can happen there. And then the island, you've got, uh, I love this color on the drawers. I think that looks neat. You got the trash can drawer, beautiful countertops. And then almost like these little pancakey pendant lights hanging down over the top of it. Plenty of seating space. I don't think there's any storage up underneath of there. And then along the back wall, some floating shelves, some fun sconces on either side of the window, and just tons of counter space. Beautiful picture window, though, looking out. Again, views of the pond. Man. Nice undermount sink. Got the panelized dishwasher. Some of these kitchens, I don't know if y'all do the same thing when we're walking through them, but I just, I see them and I'm like, whew. I would either love to like spend some time in it to see how it works. That would almost be fun, right? If you go to purchase a home and you get to like almost over, like an Airbnb in the home that you're wanting to build just for a night or two. You know what I mean? Just to kind of understand and feel uh, how everything works out. But you've got the built-in microwave. And then just off of that, the pantry kind of wraps around to the corner. Nice built-ins, adjustable shelves, which is neat. Tons of space. And then you've got the pocket door that separates it as well. And then along the back wall, trying to catch everything. <laughs> There's a lot happening in this kitchen, but... Uh, You've got on either side these nice built-ins that go, I think, all the way up to the ceiling. And you've got the gas range. A really nice backsplash. I love the little ledge right here, too. That's pretty neat. And then some pot and pan drawers going all the way down. Just heap tons of storage in this kitchen. And then just off of that, you've got the mud room. Nice little hole tree right here so you can drop your coat, kick off your shoes. And then almost like a little a bill area, a little key drop zone. And then out into the garage. So three stall garage, you got the double stall and the single stall all right here together. Just kind of peruse around a little bit. I don't see too much other than the electric panel. And then you also have... Now, I wonder if you could almost turn this... I still have yet to see anything in the comments other than this just being a coat closet. And obviously that's probably just the best bet, like a coat closet, cleaning closet, something like that. But if you could have like a just turn that, blow that out... You know what I mean? And then you've got that whole pantry right there that wraps around to the kitchen. And then you don't have to walk through the kitchen to drop your groceries off. I think that would be cool. But from here, we'll go ahead and work our way up to the second floor. Again, that's where the second floor is where all of the bedrooms are, with the exception of one. There is one down in the basement, which we'll catch uh, in a little bit. But... I love these window arrays. I think they're awesome. And that chandelier right there, it is just massive. All right. So as soon as we get up to the top floor, you've got the laundry room, front load washer and dryer with tons of folding space. You've got a nice deep wash basin. And then some nice shelves with the hanging dowels up above that. and then into the master bedroom. So just getting right into it. You got the double doors and then bam, nice big tray ceiling, really cool light fixture. Again, huge windows looking out towards the pond. 
and this room is pretty good size. I got the floor plan this time, but the floor plan uh, for these homes didn't have any room sizes on them. But uh, this one's pretty pretty good size. I would say pretty comparable to most of the homes that we've been seeing. And then into the ensuite, double vanities. I like how the soaking tub is right below the window. I think that looks super cool. Again, you could always get shades if you wanted to. And you've got a cool little makeup vanity on the opposite side. That's a little different. Fun little light fixture hanging down over the top of that. The water closet. And then you've got this great big shower. Fun tile surround going all the way up to the ceiling. Nice dark shower tray. You've got a bench in the back. Now I like the little lip on this one too, right there at the front. Lips and like a lot of those ledges. I don't want to say lips. Saying lips would just sound weird, but like ledges. I think that's pretty neat. And then uh, you also have the closet, attic access up there. Tons of space. Not like the biggest closet in the world, you know what I mean? But uh, still ample room. Like I said before, I've in my own dresser, I think I only filled up <laughs> two things. So I'm one of those ones that I don't need a lot of clothes space. Uh, some exposed beams here in the hallway. What's behind this door? I, oh, it's like a, a linen closet or it's almost like a pantry. But a nice big linen closet in here. Game room maybe. Not really game room, but like game storage. Something along those lines. Maybe linens just because you've got, I mean, you've got so many bedrooms up here. And then as you get down to the end of the hall, it kind of wraps around. You got these two bedrooms on the corner. This is the first of the two. Fun little leather pulls on the and I've seen those on some light fixtures, too. I think that's pretty neat if you could bring them all together. But I think most of these rooms are, I mean, you're looking at like, I don't know, 11, 12 foot by 12 or 13 feet. It's not necessarily a box, but that's about the size you're looking at. Nice big walk-in closet. And then they, this bedroom and the next bedroom are connected via a Jack and Jill. So you've got uh, the double vanity right here. Again, nice dark color. You've got a pocket door that separates the room, this room. The other room's got a normal one. And then you've got the water closet. A nice dark surround. I've been like, whew. And this tub looks a little deeper too than what we've been seeing. I know in like Tennessee and stuff, we were seeing a lot of those like low profile tubs. Minnesota's been having a, a lot deeper tubs. But this is the third bedroom overall up here. Again, about the same size. A little bit different layout. Maybe just, maybe it's the same layout, just turned a little different. Because I think they're pretty comparable in size. This one's got a little different closet though. Kind of a fun layout, I'm thinking so far. You can let me know what you're thinking about it down in the comments. And then uh, across the way, you've got another bathroom. This one's got the standalone shower and a single vanity. And then obviously connected uh, to the hallway, but it's also connected to the next bedroom that we're gonna be walking through. So this one, I like the fat tiles in this one. I think that looks good. And in this bedroom, this sits up towards the front of the house. So I think it's the only one on the front side. Again, about the same size though. I got those little leather pulls again. I was just kind of into them. And then all the way at the back corner, again, you've got another great big walk-in closet and then from there you drop down into this is on the opposite side of the foyer so 
This is where that second gable is with the big old window array. Got a nice little bump out right here with some more windows, but just tons of light up here in this. This is like a bonus room. Man, what would you do up here? Like this space with this big window array? Or here's another question. Where could you imagine having a home like this? Like what would you want that view to be? You know from out of those windows that's what i want to know mountains ocean would this be too modern for an ocean it almost has like a because of the wood and everything outside i think it almost would belong in like some mountains or uh maybe you know maybe more of a not necessarily like a super rural area but maybe more urbany but it, it just feels like it's it's like a nice combination a nice mesh uh, of modern and almost, I want to say natural, if that makes sense. But from here, we'll go ahead and start working our way down into the basement area. Now, I haven't, I haven't been down here prior to touring, but just as soon as you get down here, you've got the little bump out right there, and then tons of doors. I think most of these are going to go to like utility rooms. Yeah, this is, I think this is the utility room. So we've got some water filtration, the water heater, the furnace. And then back behind us, you've got like the air conditioner unit, the air filtration unit. And then on the opposite side, I think this is just gonna be like some understair storage, something along those lines. Yeah, it just kind of wraps around down back up underneath of the stairs. The pipes were a little, got the sump pump. A little different, caught me off guard. <laughs> uh, but then from there, it opens up into all of the activity areas in the basement. So you've got, this is a walkout basement. So you've got a little patio back there, but uh, you've got another entertainment center with uh, some nice built-ins. It's like a cool little bump out, which is nice. And then you've got some more big windows, again, letting in tons of light in here. The lights within the all these rooms really weren't doing that much just because of uh, all of the, the natural light coming in. But tons of storage, I love this wood. I think that looks really cool. And then they kind of kept that like batten look that they had upstairs on the fireplace. So we've got a wet bar over here. Kind of a cool idea with the, the wine bottles. I like that. you got the little beverage chiller. Oh, it's not a wet bar. It's just a dry bar with the sconces on either side. Man, that's what I always like. I feel like these basements, they always do it up. And uh, just the ideas that come from them. Like my favorite one, I wish we would have seen it, but we didn't see it uh, throughout any of the homes, was uh, I saw like an ice rink. Not really an ice rink. It was probably more so for like rollerblading and stuff, but like it was a little hockey rink. Um, just a picture of one as an idea. But I thought that would be pretty cool. Anyway, this is the bathroom down here in the basement. And then you've got a gym room, again, with the glass pane doors and obviously you know like we just mentioned uh you could do whatever so definitely let me know you know and I've, i always see your ideas you know we walk through a lot of basements so it, you're probably getting a little tired of telling me but <laughs> you know maybe it's it's been a couple days maybe you came up with something new you know what i mean so uh or just individual rooms maybe a you know jen's got her um her seed starting room. It's like her little gardening room down in our basement right now. It's, it was a cellar, uh, but we kind of nixed the cellar a little bit. That scared me. <laughs> I wasn't even, I, so I'm having to, to voice this one over because there was just so much noise in this home. And, uh, I completely forgot that I saw these goofy pillows and, uh, man, I just looked up and all of a sudden we're like in it and, uh, 
uh, got me a little bit. But anyway. All right, let me know what you think about this helmet down in the comments. Definitely a lot to love about this helmet. My favorite part personally is the exterior. I can't get enough of that, but I want to hear what your favorite part is as well. Thank you so much to McDonald Construction Partners for allowing us to come out here and tour this home. But most importantly, thank you for being here to take the tour with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be able to do uh, some of the cool homes like this that we do across the country. So I appreciate it. With that, though, I hope you have a fantastic day. And as always, my name is Timothy. I look forward to seeing your beautiful face in the next one.